Pete, thank you. And it's a hot summer, not just for us, but for people all around the world. And it's the hottest summer in recorded history. ABC's Melissa Adon has more. September is off to a warm start as yet another heat wave continues to impact millions across the country. And it doesn't just feel like the hottest summer ever, it is. A data from the European Union's Copernicus program shows how this summer was the world's hottest on record. 2023 summer sticks out like a sore thumb. We've got El Nino, we've got less aerosols, we've got a lot of things happening, but, but of course human emissions as well. Across the world, there have been record-setting highs. In the south of France, a heat wave gripping the area just days before the start of the Rugby World Cup. Southern Europe facing numerous wildfires these last two months. More than 80 million Americans are currently under heat alerts stretching from Texas to Massachusetts. The hot weather impacting businesses like Alaskan fishers fearing more crab season closures due to rising ocean temperatures. It's clear that the, um, we're losing those Arctic characteristics that appear necessary for this population in the traditional fishing grounds in the southeast Bering Seas. Hot and humid weather taking over the northeast. In Boston, it's making back to school for some unbearable. I can't stand it. I was barely able to focus on school today first period because it was so hot. Heat so brutal in places like Philadelphia, New Jersey, school officials will be dismissing students from class early the rest of the week due to a lack of air conditioning. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles.